Hi everybody. Let's R. My job. My hobby. And actually my life. On this channel I will overview and tell you about the most popular LEDs from such manufacturers as Cree, Citizen, Bridge Lux, as well as new LEDs from Citizen for Plants known as Citizen Horticulture, new generation LED arrays from Cell Semiconductors and others. And all this I will do not only by words, but by means of spectrophotometer from Ocean Optics. This excellent device manufactured in the USA consists of spectrophotometer itself, optical cable and cosine corrector. Also I have calibrator in order to tune the spectrophotometer for providing the most accurate measurements. The device is connected to the laptop. All measurements are processed by proprietary software known as OceanView. Well, in this video I would like to compare two LEDs, namely Cree 6B3590 and uh, Cree 6B3070, both for the temperature 3500 kelvins. These LEDs are equipped with the top beams and are often used for plant lighting. I will compare arrays using a number of parameters. It's known that uh, the passing of any photochemical reaction depends on the number of absorbed photons and uh, not the quantity of absorbed energy. So the spectrophotometer allows measuring such parameters as light spectrum, illumination index, parameter PPFD, uh, that is uh, the number of photons per square meter per second in PRA range, energy, in, uh, energy of light flux, and it's also possible to measure the luminescence temperature and color reproduction index. In this video I will set up uh, both uh, arrays on needle-like radiators, connect them by holders to the power supply, and uh, set the current to 1.4 amperes, which is the standard current. And this is the most popular supply mode for these LED arrays. Uh, when the current is less than nominal, it increases uh, the array efficiency. Next, I place a radiator on suspension. Observation distance will be 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. Note that in all next videos I will do the comparative measurements of arrays of different types uh, exactly on this distance, therefore we will clearly understand which arrays are more efficient and which one are not. So subscribe to the channel, for sure there will be the comparison of Citizen and Bridge Rooks arrays, Citizen arrays from special set for plants, and uh, various low power LEDs like Luxion, Osram, different models of Cree. Get down on assembling, get down to assembling of LEDs on the radiators. Arrays are installed and connected to the laboratory power supply. I'm starting from the array 3590. Now I'm installing it on suspension and then we'll show you how it will work. Measurement process looks like this. Distance between the spectrophotometer input and array under investigation equals to 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. Array is reached up on the radiator and the radiator is hooked. So uh, let's feed the current. And now we see uh, spectral power distribution on uh, the laptop screen. This is light intensity, that is the dependence of uh, the number of photons on uh, the wavelengths. And this is the spectrum energy component. Fur further measurements I will do by capturing the video from the laptop screen and making notes on the plot 
for all data to be clear. Let's get down to measurements. The first example is Qi CXB3590, reproduction index 80 units, luminescence temperature equals to uh, 3500 Kelvin. Voltage drop on the array is 34 volts, current is 1.4 amperes, consumed power is 47.6 watt, measurement distance is 25.5 cm or 10 inches. Looks these values I provide for general data. This measurement unit doesn't fit for horticultural lighting because it's bounded to the human eye with the pinnacle at uh, 555 nanometers. Illumination equals to 39,000 lux. Light flux energy is uh, 160 watt per square meter. And the most important parameter is uh, PPFD, the number of photons per square meter per second. It equals to 549 micromole per square meter per second. So, uh, the main array's parameters are known. Uh, let's get down to additional test cases. As a matter of fact, uh, array luminescence temperature is uh, 3000 680 kelvins. A color reproduction index is uh, 82.8 units. The pinnacle in the orange part of the spectrum for the array equals to 596 nanometers. Uh, there is a significant decay at 615 nanometers. High enough part of the radiation is located at the uh, hyper red part of the spectrum. The pinnacle at the deep blue range is at uh, the 550 nanometers. The measurements for the first sample are over. Now I will fix current spectral power distribution on the screen. Assemble Cree 6B 3070 array in the same way and make measurements once more. So Cree 6B 3070 has been installed. Array voltage drop is equal to 32.5 volts. Current flow is well to 1.4 amperes. Consumed power is 49.2 watts. Measurement distance is the same, 25.5 centimeters or 10 inches. Let's get down to measurements. Illumination is uh, 38.5 thousand lux. Light flux energy is 114 watt per square meter. And PPFD equals to 540 micromole per square meter per second. So the test for the second array is ready. We see that the consumed power is on 2 watt greater, but the main parameter values as PPFD and flux energy are lower. Note that the PPFD is the most important parameter for us and its values differ slightly. Therefore, CXB3070 can be used as a cheaper equivalent to the first array. Color reproduction index equals to 83.4 units and luminescence temperature is 3610 kelvins. It seems that the spectrum outlines are the same but intensity is less. 
Now I count relative PPFD value per 1 watt of consumed power for two samples and uh, display the percentage ratios. Having done the calculations, it's uh, seen that uh, 6B3070 array loses 4.35%. For not great plants and grow boxes, this is not crucial and uh, you can use cheaper arrays Cree 6B3070. However, for big grow rooms, uh, this loss can significantly make an effect on the electricity bills and uh, drop in harvest. So, uh, it's uh, worth paying attention to. The comparative analysis of two arrays, Cree 6B3590 and uh, 6B3070 is, not, is over now. On next video I will do an experiment for measuring the productivity of array Cree 6B3590 and will compare light fluxes on the distance uh, 25 and a half centimeters for different supply currents. Uh, 700 milliamperes, 1.4, 1.75, 2.1 and uh, 3.5 amperes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments, share this video with friends and social networks, subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.